Uh, hello, this is Dominique. Thank you for clicking on my video. If you saw by the title, this is an update for my project level up, which means I have finally leveled up. Oh my gosh, levels four and five are no joke. That's what I've been working on and it's been, it's been rough. So um, I do have an update for you for levels four and five. Um, if you're unaware, this um, project was made by Soph Alexandra, and um, I'll have her tagged below. And if you don't know what this project is, it's essentially like a game. So you start at level one, and that means that you have to randomly select a uh, palette or pick a palette, and touch and use every every shade once, and hit pan in one. Level two is use it twice, hit pan in two, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm all the way on levels. Um, four and five. So that's what I'm going to update you on. I had level four, which is this huge rainbow Morphe um, Lisa Frank palette that my sister got me. It's got 35 shades in it. And then my level five is this little beat up Alamar Cosmet Cosmetics um, palette. Okay, so level four. I did it. Uh, I literally came down to the wire today. I like did my look. Don't don't judge the rest of my makeup. I've been up since six. I took the kids to school. I went on a breakfast little date with my aunt. I went on a walk. Like, and it's only like I don't know, almost one. But anyways, so I did already like this like orangey and like pinky type of. Um, look and then I was like oh crap I literally have a blue in this crazy rainbow palette that I need to use one more time so I'm like girl we're not wasting today so I don't know if you can see but there's a little bit of blue right there it doesn't really go but hey it's working it's working it works it counts this is my palette sorry it's super reflective so I already had a pan in this purple one long ago at my last update i i think i had already had pan on these two so these two shades already have pan it took me 22 and 18 times and then i hit pan in this green one you see it let me see if i can get a little glimmer there, there you see it oh it's right there right there i hit pan in this green one and that one took me eight times. And then for my last and fourth pan, it was in this orange right here. And you can see, see the pan right there? Yeah, so one, two, three, four. I did it. I used every single shade four times each at least. Some more than that. I have some that I used like upwards of like 10 times, but was nowhere close to hitting pan on them. Um, I did make some very beautiful, colorful, loud and crazy looks. Um, I'll see if I can insert a couple pictures here. Lots of green looks, lots of orange looks, um, blues, which is cool. Like, I love it. I'll take it. This one's rolling out. And while we're here, I will update you on my level five. So this is my level five, which is the Alamar Cosmetics um, palette in the Reina del Caribe, the Queen of the Caribbean, I assume. Um, this is what my palette looks like today. So I already had a pan in this shade from a pan those eyeshadows a few years back. I have already used each shade at least the five times, and I have now hit pan. Do you see the pan? There's a pan there in this top one, La Costa, and there's a pan here in Cafecito. So it took me, let me see... For cafecito, I used it in my eyebrows, and I used it for the last time yesterday, and it took me 44 uses to hit pan. That's a lot. These these um, matte colors are dense, beautiful, but dense. And then this one, La Costa, I literally hit pan on today. Today. I hit pan on it today. It's what's in like the inside part right here. You'll see like this is like more orangey and then it's like lighter. That lighter color is La Costa. And I was using La Costa before I finished off the, sh the shimmers in my level four. I was using it literally every day 
as an inner corner highlight. And for the last like uh, maybe seven-ish times that I've used it, I've actually used it on the sh on the lid. So La Costa I ended up using 32 times. So the game plan for this palette. I know how densely packed these mattes are, so I really don't think it's feasible for me to hit pan on another one relatively quickly like especially with my pan those eyeshadows which is like my main focus and this is kind of like a complementary to it so I'm going to focus on these four um shimmers this one I think will be relatively easy it's these two that I'm worried about I'm not crazy about the blues I'm more of like a pink purple green type of girl but I'm gonna turn into a blue girl especially since I have a crazy wild blue in my Pandos eyeshadows anyways so my my goal will be those top these top four to have their pans plus my cafecito which is my fifth pan and hopefully I'll get that done here relatively soon in the next couple of months but we'll see because it took me a long time to hit my goal on number four so um with this with this challenge like I'm sure you can go up into whatever number you want but most people stick to five so once I hit level five I'm gonna start over so I'm rolling out level four but then starting over with level one so the palette that I'm going to pull into my um to my challenge is going to be a new palette starting at level one so I do have, let me flip through it, I do have all of my palettes written down. My daughters helped me do this, um, and it is updated. So the ones I got for Christmas, the ones that were decluttered to me from my cousin, those are all included also. Um, I do have two palettes coming to me at the end of the month from Ipsy. They were like one of those like $3 sales, so I got two other palettes coming. But anyways, so yes, so... I'm going to roll in a palette, we're going to see what it is together, and then we're going to hopefully have a, a nice little little setup to work with here, okay? So I'm going to ask my friend A-L-E-X-A -E to please draw a number between one and, let me see, and I'm not, if, if I roll in a, a palette that I've already used in this project, I'm going to go to another one, because that's crazy, between one and 112. Alexa, random number between 1 and 112. Here's a number between 1 and 112. It's 10. 10. Oh, okay. This is going to be good. So number 10, sorry about my handwriting, is the Revolution um, Cosmetics and Emily palette. Let me get it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So this is my Emily palette. It is super beat up. It is on the older side. Um, I do have pan in two shades already. These two, there's barely any in this cream shade. And then Midwest is the other one that has the other pan. So you'll see this is another big palette, but we only have to use each of them once. So I don't think it'll be that terribly hard to do. Um, I don't have any idea what I want my goal to be yet. I guess I'll just kind of see what kind of calls to me. I don't have but one. Um, shimmer in my hand those eyeshadows although I do have all those shimmers from the Alamar cosmetics palette maybe I'll do like a green like a dark green to go with the the crazy green in the Alamar palette I don't know we shall see but anyways I'm really excited I now have Emily and Alamar too you know this is a a brown creators palette and I love Emily I've been watching her for years and years and years and years like my kids even recognize her when she's on the TV so I'm excited this will be good um wish me luck hopefully I'll be in soon to give you guys an update bye